Hello everyone, it's Kalina. Listening to my internal GPS, I'm uh, reflecting on what it is over the last couple of months. And we've gone into uh, now March almost, and we've got a few months past the new year in 2023. And I'm just thinking, you know, like what has changed? What am I doing today that's going to make my life better that I wasn't doing last year? And, you know, I'm looking at myself and wanting change. And yet a lot of times we don't do that. And so if we look at a mirror of myself, say I look at a mirror of myself from last year and what my thoughts were and the things I went through, there are a lot of things that we wanted to change. And yet I haven't started doing it. And like you, we maybe have these good intentions. And yet for some reason, we haven't even started we keep saying, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And uh, like, I want to work on my podcast. I want to work more on my pages, on, you know, my web pages. I want to be able to work more and create more and more content. And each day that I'm not, I'm not, right? And it's like, why we take time to do the things that likely waste a lot of our time? I'm just sitting and working and looking through Facebook and reading and different things and I see other people and they're succeeding and they're, I'm wondering what are they doing every day we need to take a little bit of time and just work on our goals and one of my goals is to make more videos and to, to produce and to just be more familiar with the, even the equipment I need to be able to sit and practice and talk and just see what it is that I want to put out there write the content and a lot of times it's what kind of energy do I have what kind of emotions what kind of message am I sending out there to my loved ones the ones that are under my umbrella the ones that are under my care the ones that are listening and watching and what message is it that I want to project out there and each day, it's like I need to hold a mirror up in front of me and look at that mirror and say, who do you want to be today, Kalina? Who is it that is watching you? And who is it that, you know, what is it that I want to project? And uh, what message am I sending out, even for myself? What kind of critic am I being to myself? What kind of self-love is out there for me? What is it that I am really wanting to do? You know, it's like we take little bits of scraps of us every day and we keep putting it together. And it's like we're putting it together and then we have to take it apart and we're remembering. We're It's like a tapestry of our life, right? It's a beautiful tapestry that we're weaving every day. And if we look back at what's been woven already through our lives, through our minds, through our each day, what it is that we're doing to make our lives healthier and stronger and that we should use some of what we have. We should. We should be using what we've already gone through and looking at our future and say, okay, if I continue on this journey, where am I going? What is it I want? What is it you want? Where you want to see yourself in five years, even in a month or two years, is it going to be any different than it is today? Are we going to make changes so that we do find what it, we want to find, right? You know, we can spend time, a lot of time, we can spend a lot of money and all this energy and still be exactly where we are. I can be exactly where I am right now if I don't make some changes. And, you know, we have a lot of uh, reasons or excuses or things that delay our dreams, that delay what it is that we want in life. And it's taken a long time. You know, this year I'm going to be a senior. I'm already a senior in some place, but, you know, like I'm a senior. I'm a grandmother. I'm a, it's like, why has it taken so long? A lot of people, if you look, a lot of young, I know a lot of you young people out there, you've far advanced already, done so much more than I've already done and will ever already do. And it's like, but what am I going to do in another 20 years? If I live to be my father's age, I'll be 93. Now, what have I got to say or show for those 93 years? You know, what am I going to be? I'm going to be a grandmother that likes, enjoys writing and blogging and 
traveling and spending time with my children and helping them and encouraging women. I want to empower those under my umbrella and those around me and those whoever I can help. But I need to be stronger and more disciplined. We need to be more disciplined. And uh, yeah, so the top clock is ticking, right? And each message that we're sending out there to the universe and the messages we're telling ourselves, those are, they are making up our story. And wherever this journey is taking you, taking me, it's a beautiful story. And it is. And there's a lot of heartache in it and there's sadness. But we also have a lot of joy and we have so much to offer. But whatever it is you have today, listen to your internal GPS. Your mantra. What mantra are you telling yourself? And let it be a love mantra. I'm beautiful. I'm strong. I'm capable. I have so much more to look forward to. The best is yet to come. You know, you are full of love. 